Hey folks, this is Vince and Ida Lee with Tax Gaming Addiction, not freaky at all. <laughs> Today, we're going to take a look at New York Slice. This is a game for two to six players, ages eight and up, and the average play time is about 30 minutes. This just came in the mail today, so this is our first time playing, and there may be some rules goofs. With that being said, I can tell you right now, this game is absolutely, and hi cat, absolutely gorgeous. The cat apparently wanted some pizza. So, uh, what is this game all about? Well... First of all, this is a, I want to say a majority set collection game in the sense that, uh, well first let me open the box, which is awesome by the way, it's like an actual pizza box. The only thing I'm not crazy about is the box insert, it doesn't do a very good job in organizing all of this stuff, more than likely I'm just going to be removing it. But uh, yeah, this is a look at the box and the insert. Um, these are the extra slices that we're not using in a two-player game, but each of these slices, for the most part, has a number on the bottom. At the end of the game, we're going to take a look and see, okay, who has the most eights, or who has the most tens, or who has the most threes. There's three threes, there's eight eights, there's ten tens. Whoever has the most of that number will score that many points. So whoever has the most tens will score ten points. In the case of a tie, no one scores anything. So if Ida Lee has four eights and I have four eights, then we won't score anything. So uh, again, these are ones that we're not using. There's also these um, today's special cards. One of these is dealt at the beginning of every round and will be put on the pizza pie that'll be for that round. And uh, basically, players can win this in order to give themselves abilities. Some of these will take effect uh, in a future round, possibly. Some will take effect at the end of the game for endgame scoring. And again, there are a few that won't be used in a two-player game. One thing I do want to note right off the bat, I highly recommend that you take a look at the back of the manual. There is this Today's Special section. Uh, for example, this Dibs card here says that um, if this special appears in a two-player game, choose another special from the stack. Well, if you take a look at the special itself, the Dibs card on the bottom, it just says replace if this appears on the last round. So there's information in the back of this rulebook that is not available on this card. And that's one thing I would have liked to have seen, maybe some consistency between the cards themselves and what's actually back here. Because if, if you skim past this, you might accidentally use this in a two-player game. Or maybe that is simply a typo and you are supposed to use this in a two-player game. I don't know. So anyway, let's just go ahead and not use it. And if you want to take a look at the manual, I'll show it to you real quick. Again, production values are out of this world in this game. It's absolutely gorgeous. Looks like a menu. Um, here's, a, here's a quick look at that. Yep. Really cool. Um, go ahead and close that. And again, pizza box. And here's a look at the score pad. It's in the form of like a check. You've got 3 through 11 on here. Uh, basically, you're going to circle whatever your majority score is. So let's say that Ida Lee had the most fours at the end of the game. She would circle the number four, indicating that she scored four points for that. If I had the most nines, I would circle the number nine, and so on and so forth. There are specials in here. Um, again, these are the today specials, and we'll be earning points for those. And then lastly, there's Eaton, and then there's Anchovies. I'll explain what the Eaton means in a little bit, in turn, and also the uh, anchovies collected. Now there are some um, there are some slices in here that are not numbers. One of them is a little asterisk, and that asterisk is sort of like a while that you add to an existing. Let's see if I can find it here. Uh, you add it to an existing, oh here it is, uh, this one here. It's a supreme slice. Uh, when collected, must be placed next to an existing slice and then that takes, that's basically an extra slice for that particular number. So if you had say three fours already, in, well let's say you had, bad example, if you had say three sevens already in your possession and you pick this up as part of your draft, you can add it to your stack of sevens and now you have four sevens which would probably push you over the edge. You know, something that you would need in order to win the majority for that number. Anchovy slices also do not have a number. Basically, they score you negative points at the end of the game. The number of anchovies is basically equal to number of points. So this pizza has three anchovies on it. That's worth negative three at the end of the game. Combo slices, they come in different forms like five and seven, whatever. They count as half a slice um, and also are used for uh, determining majority. So let's say that uh, let's say that we tied. One person had, say, 
I don't know, uh, th uh, three fives. And another person had three fives from uh, using a Supreme. Normally, there's only uh, five fives in there. But let's say that th there came an instance where uh, one person and another person tied. This half a slice may actually push them over to the edge and give them the majority that they might need. And then, of course, you've got your regular numbered slices here. All right, so let's go ahead and show you what, what this is like. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle these up, and then you're going to put them in stacks of 11 slices. So there's going to be four rounds in this game. You're going to have three left over. One of these specials do... Um, do make use of these three face down slices, so don't look at them. Um, you know, th there is a special in here that does make use of them. I'm not going to go over all the different specials until they come up. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these stacks, and then the dealer or the slicer, as they're known, is going to put them face up in a circle. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So, and they, whenever you're doing this, they have to be next to each other. So something like that, and so you can't like change the order. Once you go clockwise or counterclockwise, you have to continue in that particular direction. That way you can't group all the 11s together or all the 9s together, whatever. Okay, so now that we've got something like this, okay, so now we've got this pizza. Now as the slicer, the slicer is also going to... Um, Flip one of these up and read it to everybody. It says, stuffed crust, five points at the end of the game. So this is one of those end game scoring point things. So I'm going to, as the slicer, I'm going to take a look at this pizza and try and figure out how I'm going to separate this out into groups. The number of groups that you split it up in depends on the number of people playing. So if there are four people playing, I might do something like this, group one, group two, group three, and group four. And then I would assign this to one of those groups, something like that. And then each player will, will be drafted a group. The person to my left would end up grabbing one, and then the person that person's left would grab one, then the next person would grab one, and then finally, whatever's left over is what the slicer gets. So it's important as the slicer to split them up evenly, because if you favor, say, two out of the four or three out of the four, you're going to get the crappy one at the end of it. So the slicer always gets whatever's left over. Mm -hmm. So it's a good idea for the slicer to try and even them out as best as possible preferably in their own favor. The person that grabs the, uh, the stack or the... the, the uh, special. The sp yeah, whoever grabs the, the, the uh, group with the special gets to keep it and make use of it, either at that time or wh whatever the, the card really calls for. But in a two-player game, we're not going to do that. It's going to be basically groups of two. Oh, by the way... This can also be its own portion. Uh, that, that's, that's, that's what I was trying to come up with. The, the name of these groups are called portions. Mm -hmm. This can actually be a portion by itself. Mm -hmm. So one group, group number two, group number three, group number four, portion one, portion two, portion three, portion four. So you can make this by itself if you want to. But in this case, we're just going to do something like this. And now I have to try and figure out... How am I going to split this up and include it, include this, so that it's even for the both of us? So there's 5, 6, 9, 11. This is a split piece of uh, 4, 5, 4, 7, 11, 9. Okay, so I might do something like this. And then this is worth 5 points at the end of the game. So what I may want to do is I might... Uh, I might bring this four down here and then add the five points to that one. Give this one an extra slice and then maybe add the five points over here. So now Ida Lee has the option of either taking this over here or this over here. And I'll explain what the Eaton is in a minute. So whatever you decide to take. Now before you do that, <laughs> keep in mind that in addition to using a you can either decide to use a slice of pizza for the set collecting that you're going to be doing okay. to try and earn the, the point value here. Okay. Or you can decide to flip it over and eat it. <laughs> it's not used at the end of the game. However, you score immediately the, point, the number of pepperonis that are on that slice. Mm. So if you decide to use this one and these ones, let's say you grab that group, 
use these and this one here as uh, for end game numbers or whatever to try and go for the majority of that number. Mm -hmm. But you decide to flip this one over like this. That would go off to the side, and at the end of the game, we would count up the number of pepperoni that you had, and you would score that here under this eaten section on your guest check. Same thing with the pepperonis. The pepperonis, whenever... Now, pepperonis, by the way, or not pepperoni, the anchovies. Mm -hmm. Whenever an anchovy pops up, if you were to flip this face down and eat it, you, uh, you ignore the anchovies. Okay. But if this is face up among the rest of the numbers when you're doing your majority bonuses, that is when the anchovies actually count against you. Okay, I see. So if you eat this pizza with the anchovy on it for the two pepperoni slices here and get two points, you ignore the anchovy. Okay. But if you were to save this for the end of the game for the majority to get 11, then you would have to count that anchovy and score negative one point for that. I see. So yeah, so if that it changes your mind at all, whatever. Okay. Um, so... Okay. Okay. Ask any questions you like before you take. That's fine. Okay. This is our first time playing, just as a reminder. So really the goal is just trying to get as many points as possible at the end. Correct. Do you want to score? score? So the different ways to do it, mm -hmm. right, is to, to get majorities on the numbers. Okay. Also to eat pizza and to score pepperoni points. One pepperoni is one point. So you can, do, you can score points in one of three ways. One is to get the majority of the number, mm -hmm. one is to eat pizza with pepperoni on it, and another is to get points via these specials as they come up. I see. Okay. Makes sense. Ooh. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, because I know you guys have a hard time seeing the actual pizza here. So, let me just bring this closer. There we go. Do that. Now you guys can actually, hopefully, see the numbers listed there. That way you can see what we're grabbing. This is, can I like eat any slice or? Yeah, any slice you want. You can, you can, when you take that group, you have to decide which of those slices you're going to eat and which of those slices you're going to keep face up for end game uh, counting. What about this? We can't eat that one. Uh, well, you could, but there's no <laughs> pepperoni on it, so it wouldn't give you any points. Yeah. And that doesn't mean anything special, right? Just that just means, yeah, nine and 11, that means that at the end of the game, if you have that face up, that counts as a half. So if you have uh, two 11s mm -hmm. and then this half, it's two point five, you have two and a half 11s. Oh, okay. And that might actually, in a, in, in a case of a tie, that might actually push you over. Well then in that case, I will probably take these. You're gonna take those, okay. Uh, are you gonna eat any of them for their pepperoni value uh, or no? No, I don't think so. Okay, so what I would do is, just to keep things organized, um, what I would do is I would split them up by number okay. and put them on their own stack. That way at the end of the game you can clearly see how many fives you have, how many fours you have, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to take this one obviously, it's the only one left. So I get the stuffed crust which is worth five points at the end of the game. And then um, I'm going to, now if I keep this 11 here, then I have to score a negative one at the end of the game. However, this is two, okay, so I may decide to eat this two. I'm going to keep everything, I'm going to go ahead and eat the 11 here, which is, there's an anchovy here. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this face down, and I like the backs of these as well, it's like a burnt crust kind of, <laughs> kind of look. But, um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep the rest of these, these are 9s, and this is an 11, this is a 7, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and that's the first round. Cool. And then we do this again, and now this is, this is your, you're the slicer now. So you're just going to put them face up in order, clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever. There's that supreme there. Ooh, Ooh that's a lot of anchovies. Yeah, it is. Disgusting. <laughs> I hate anchovies. Yeah. I don't, I don't know of anyone that likes anchovies, but then again, there's always going to be that one person commenting, <laughs> How can you hate anchovies? All right. They're so good. Sushi on pizza forever. <laughs> With ketchup. With ketchup. Oh. <laughs> and V8 and chocolate. Mmm. Mm. So good. All right. So now I have to group these up. Well, before okay. you do that, you like anchovies. <laughs> uh, collected anchovies are worth one point each. Oh, wow. So you get to split this up into two groups and then put that on whatever you like. And you have to pick first, right? I have to pick first, correct. Now, the you like anchovies, according to this... 
Um, instead of anchovies being subtracted from your score when collected, collected anchovies are worth plus one point each. Eaten anchovies are not worth anything. The special's effect shouldn't be recorded on the pepperonis. Anchovies line on the guest check for the players is special and can be done very easily by cheating. That's another thing that I didn't really care for in the instruction manual. This tiebreaker, you win all ties for majority of types collected. It says here up in, in the, the instruction, it says blue specials marked with an asterisk are scored on the guest check special line at the end of the game. Well, you'd think that a tiebreaker... At the end of the game, we're going to be comparing numbers, so this tiebreaker should, in effect, be bolded blue, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And um, this, you like anchovies, you also, at the end of the game, uh, take a look at the anchovies that you have. So I don't know why this you like anchovies is scored right then and there. I mean, unless it's only done for that round. But there's, the way this, this, um, this guest check is designed, it's, it, there's no extra room, really, to... Um, like, it doesn't, I don't see any way to keep a tally here. It just seems like it's, it's meant to be uh, counted once and then a score put there. So I don't see this special being used just for that particular round and that's it. I think this is more of an end game thing. But again, this is our first time playing. I think the rules are a little weird with regard to that. So we'll just... What is the asterisk? The asterisk, whenever, whoever collects that, will add that to an existing group. So as an example, I'll zoom it's out. It's like a wild card? It's a wild card, exactly. So if I were to win this, mm -hmm. I would put it with my 7, with my 11, or I'd put it with my 9s, and that would count as an, that particular number. Cool. You can, and you can't like save it for the end of the game and then assign it. You have to choose it right then and there, which one... Which, it could also be part of the ones that you collected that turn as well. Okay. In the rare event that it's the only slice you've collected up to that point, for whatever reason, mm -hmm. then you wait until you get another group of slices and then you assign it to one of them. Okay. In that rare event. Sure. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to zoom back in here on the pizza because anchovies... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And this counts for... Yes, yeah, so... Round. That would I would I would think that would count this this you like anchovies I think that would count for every round because you don't actually score the anchovies until the end of the game. I'll take a look at the um, minus three points to anyone who collects it. Since there are multiple anchovies in the game, I can't see us. Are there? Yeah, because there was an anchovy that I ate. Oh yeah, that's right. I ate an anchovy. But this is the only slice that has only anchovies. Probably. Yeah. Okay. But that doesn't mean, I mean, let's say I kept this. Oh, yeah, okay. Would I score negative one immediately, and then let's say I got the negative three again? Would I record negative one and negative three on my, on my score sheet here? Or would I do that all at the end of the game as one mm. sum? Mm -hmm. and in which case, that would take effect at that time? Or does this take effect the same round as this? And I'll, that's what I mean. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I really don't know. But we'll just, I think the best thing to do with this We'll treat it as an end game card. Okay. And then whenever we count up our anchovies, we'll get points for them instead. Okay. So that applies to both of us? No, that no. applies to whoever gets it. Oh, okay, okay. So at the end, of, it's like I got it. At the end of the game, I'll count the number of anchovies I have face up, and instead of getting negative three points or four okay. points, I'll get positive so three. So I have to put this in a group? Correct, okay. in a group. Mm hmm Oh, mama. Okay. Oh, mama. <laughs> mm. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. It's -a me, I'm in James. Oh, Woohoo! Alright, so. I will probably. Do something like. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, wow. I would, my advice is take a look at the numbers that you're going for already yeah. and see if there's a way to split them up to your advantage. Yeah, that's or. Cool. Trying to do. <laughs> or yeah, but it's also like if you split them up too unfairly, I'll grab yeah. that one and you get the crappy one. You know what I mean? So it's like it's it's difficult to try and figure out how to split them up to your advantage. It's tough. And not make it my advantage too. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's tough. Alright, I'll do this. Oof. Damn that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me. Okay, I'll do I'll do this. That's a spicy meatball. Okay. I'll add this here. Oof. <laughs> so whoever grabs this could keep that face up. 
Well, they, yeah, they have to keep it face up. And but would also score three points for that, plus any other anchovies they would get. The question is, do I need these numbers? Six, four, eleven, four. You've got. Now here's the thing. No, you can't look at my son. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I don't know if that's. I wonder if that's in the rules. Do we, I don't know. It just says. Um, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, I'm. I'm look, just to be on the safe side. I'm curious. Um, maybe you rearranged. Okay, so um, leaving them face up in front of them when previous. I see what you're doing. <laughs> nice try with the box. Okay. To prevent me from seeing what you've got. That's, that's, that's cute. I see. So the, okay, these face-up slices may be rearranged by the player as necessary. Uh-huh. Okay, so I think we're good. Um, okay. So whatever. I don't care. I'm not a stickler for the rules, as most people know. Yeah. Um, so I can either grab this or this. You know what, I'm going to grab... Now if I don't take this, you're going to get the majority of the fours. Which I might be fine with. But then you get an 11, which I need. But then there again, there's an 11 over here. Okay, I'm going to take this, this over here. So now before you pick, I have to decide whether or not I'm going to eat any or whatever. So I'm going to put this with the 11. This is an 11. These are fives. Am I going to eat anything at this point? I don't think I am. Six and, okay, this is a seven, and this is a six. Okay, so I've got that. Now you get to keep those. Okay. And this, okay. Cool. It, it's better, I, I, I like your approach better. It's, it's, it's more thematic. What do you mean? Like, you're, you're organizing your score in the shape of a pizza, whereas I've got stacks, the pizza slices on top of each other, which we all know is a cardinal sin with pizza. You do not want the melted cheese on the bottom of another slice. It's just, no, you don't do that. Ew. But, you're, yeah, so yours is better, I think. I'm just doing this so I can keep track easier at a glance yeah. as to what I have. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah, you're totally fine. Okay, so... So, I think... Uh, can I choose to eat something? You can choose to eat whatever you want. I'm going to eat this one. This 11. Okay. Yes. So, that's three... Yeah, so you keep that, like, oh. somewhere off to the side. There okay. you go. And... <laughs> ugh. That's also an OCD cardinal rule no-no. You don't put a face-down <laughs> piece of slice next to... Uh, that's just... No, you really? don't do that. I don't know. Yeah. Oh my gosh, no, no, you don't do, no, how can anyone, no, you can, no, that's wrong, Why not? wrong, wrong, awesome. Look wrong, at that wrong, pizza. it's right next to wrong, <laughs> wrong, it's wrong, it's fine, I'll I can you. lick the box afterwards, oh. <laughs> I'm covering my ears and I'm going la 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 la, okay, so now it is a new round, yeah, um, face up, and again, go around and around and around. Seven. Eleven. 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 There's a lot of eleven, so it's to be expected. Mm -hmm. Someone no. didn't shuffle too great. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're the one that showed me how with the dominoes and all, you know. Nine and seven. Mm -hmm. All right, so this today's special is... Supersize combos. Each combo slice you collect is worth two slices of both types. And let me just check the rules and see if that's an end game thing. What is that? Uh, combo collected combo slices are worth two slices of each type of combo slice instead of half a slice each. Oh, okay. So, so again, I don't think that's an end. Well, is it only for this round? Because there's no combo slices. That's a good point. Each combo slice, it, it's according to the rule book, mm -hmm. it's not blue, meaning it's not an end game thing. Do we have to pick another special? <laughs> no. Collected combo slices are worth two slices. You know, I, let's make that an end game thing too. We can, again, we, we're house ruling it, whatever. If there's none here, it doesn't say what to do if there's no combo thing. We might have to watch the video again. <laughs> well. I watched a number of videos, but I didn't see anything. There's nothing in the rules that says mm -hmm. if you draw this and it doesn't apply to anything. I mean, this doesn't give any advantage to, to this well, at maybe all. Maybe it's just mute then. I'm thinking mute, maybe, but I think it's for endgame. I mean, 
We can make it end game scoring wise if you want. There's not too many split ones in the game to begin with. So I'll, I will just if you want to house rule it, we'll make it so that at the end of the game, any split ones you have are worth two for that number. Up to you. It gives it more value. It makes it more difficult to decide how to divvy them up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right. So what I'll do is let's see. You've got. I like how your card is hiding the numbers on your pizza. What are you talking about? Yes. <laughs> Yes, how convenient. This is, no, this is the little topper, you know. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It holds the pizza together, yeah, yes, from sliding around. I get it. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, Do you want me to take the topper No, you're fine. You keep the topper on. I'll just deal. Um, six, seven, eleven, nine, Well, here's the thing. I've got one, two, three, and you've got, well, here's the thing, I could do that, and I could do the five, seven, nine, seven, and eh, <laughs> eh, my wife, <laughs> uh, all right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to try and make this because you've got a combo I don't. I'm going to give you, if you want that side, <laughs> you can have this. So I'm sort of encouraging you to yeah. take this, however, you may not decide to. And I will zoom in so you guys can see the numbers that are split up. What's cool is, like, on this camera screen that I'm looking at here, if this pizza were, like, completely together, it looks like an actual pizza. That's how cool this, the, the, that's how good the production values are. I mean, it's probably the most disgusting pizza combination you ever have. I mean, who has just pepperoni, then this, and this, and ham, and blah. You don't combine that many things in one box. It's also wrong. Do you have to eat them on the spot, or can you eat them at the end of the game? There is a card in today's special that lets you eat them at the end of the game. Oh. But no, you have to eat them All when you right. get them. Yeah, I figured as much. All right, I think I'm going to go for... You know what? I will take you up on your offer. My offer. Yes. It's an offer that I, you can't refuse. Yes. All right, so you grab those, and I'll wait on grabbing this until you do th your thing, because I want to see what numbers you keep and what you eat before I decide <laughs> to eat stuff myself. Mm. Because that'll help me determine, should I eat those numbers or should I keep them and tr try and stay competitive with you? I'll keep these. Those are nines, okay. okay. Are you sure they're nines? Mm -hmm. I, I, can, I can see the lines under these sixes <laughs> on my end, yes. Okay, I'll give these and I've already eaten one of these. It makes no sense to keep 11s because it seems like you're getting all the 11s. You think so? so? What I'm going to do is flip this over. You're going to eager to eat the 11. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Get it? Deal. I get it. Uh, good deal. Uh, sure. Okay. So now I'm going to do this. You've got, since you're not going for the 11s, that I, I mean, I've got three 11s. You've got zero. Well, you got a half of one. So I may decide to eat these two, which are worth three points each because of the pepperonis on them. <laughs> I see what you're playing at. Uh-huh. Oops, no, those aren't wrong. That's, these are mine. Okay, these are the three extra ones. Um, so these sevens, I've got one, two. You've got a seven. I'm going to go ahead and... Maybe add them here. That this these four sevens that nails that in. Unless you get a you get that wild card, which you did. I already have, so that nails that in. I don't have to worry about the sevens anymore. The nine I'm gonna keep because you've got nines going. Sixes you've got a few sixes. I'll go ahead and add that here. All right, last round. So now you get to deal those out, and then your special. Which I'll wait. Ooh, look at all those 11s. Oh boy. A lot of nines, too. Oops. That was on top. You're okay. <laughs> all right, my crooked pizza. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be fired from Pizza Hut. Yes, I would. All right, so tiebreaker. Win all ties for your collected slices. Wow. 
Again, this is one that is not bolded blue in the back of the rule book. But we don't actually score tiebreakers until the I mean, the, we don't compare numbers until the end of the game. So why is not that bolded blue as well? That, that, that's what I mean. Like, some of this doesn't jive well with the rest of the rules. I think there's either typos on this last page or I'm misunderstanding something. Mm -hmm. Which is perfectly, you know, reasonable. So, you get to cut this up. And then... I don't like being the slicer at you all. You don't like being the slicer. <laughs> I mean, whatsoever. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so the folks at home can see what the pizza looks like close up. And how they might do it. It's kind of difficult for them to determine that without looking at our pizzas, but... Our score pizzas. Yeah. Five, three, six. Okay. I think... Oh, man, that's rough. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is a toughie. What is that one? Tiebreakers. You whoever gets that wins tiebreakers at the end of the game. So if I have three nines and you have three nines, I win. If I were to get that tiebreaker card. Oh man. Three, six. Oh my gosh. Thing is, I can't even. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, counting my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to arrange mine no, in pizza slices? No, I will. No, hold on. I got this. I got this. Hold on. I will. I will do it your way. You're fine. That way you can clearly <laughs> see. There you go. Aww. See, I the things I do. That's so nice of you. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my pizza. You just is, dropped um, it on the floor. I did. As you're throwing it up in the air. Yes. Okay. So there's that, and then. Five. Well, actually, yeah, and then I ate most of my pizza, <laughs> so and these are my face down ones. Yeah, the ones that are messing up the box. Oh, I can't <laughs> look at this. I just can't. Nah, and then I've got. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus whatever tiebreaker you assign. Whoa, 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 look at you. Temptress <laughs> with this huge pile over here, but those are, all, well, here's the thing. Do I grab, see the six is, there's a six and a nine. That would push you over, well, that would actually tie. Well, here's the thing. I would earn the tiebreaker. But the fours and sixes, uh, that, I'm, I will take this. That's... Really? I don't even know what I did, to be honest. Oh, I thought you <laughs> no, were... No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. Okay, well, I can, I can take it back. No, I want you to have it, because even though I don't know what I did, I want that one. <laughs> oh, you want that I get it, makes sense. Um, well, here's the thing. I don't get At that. most, you could have, you've got a half an 11. That's 2.5 11s. I've already got three. So there's no way you could win that. Well, no, 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 wait. You've got two 11s here coming to you. So that would be... Are you taking that back? No. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Just give me a second. Oh, okay. I'm thinking... <laughs> okay. I will keep one of them. Okay. That would give me four 11s. Uh -huh. And then you would have one, two... I only have two and a half. Two and a half. So then, all right. So that means, I mean... Well, wait. If I could still eat both. 2.5, I have three. Right. So, yeah, I could eat both of these 11s, and you'd have half of an 11, and then two more. That's 2.5. You don't have any other 11s. I, I still have three. So I'm going to eat both of these 11s. Yeah. And... Um, wait, you have three? Where's the third one? Oh, this, the, the Supreme. Oh, you're using the wild stuff. As an 11, yeah. Okay. And then um, these here, this, I've got some nines coming to me. Now, I've got three nines already. You've got two. You would have at most. Okay, so you've got two nines. I've got three, but you've got another one coming to you. So I need to keep at least one nine and eat the other one. So I'm going to eat one nine and keep the other nine. So I'm going to have to rearrange this somehow. For, oh, for four nines? Yeah, for four nines so that I get the majority on that. Even though you have a tiebreaker? Oh, oh yeah. 
Oh well, I forgot. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. No, you're right. You're right. That's smart. No, no, no. I should have forgot. I should have. I should have thought about that. Well, no, this seven. I still have that half of a nine too. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Seven. I'm going to eat that because I don't need the sevens anymore. And this is going to be the world's worst pizza. <laughs> Four slices are face up, and this is a six. You would uh, three. I'll go ahead and make. Okay, so I've got. I don't think this pizza is very proportionate. I'm um, <laughs> just saying. I think I've got too many slices in here. Too many slices. Yeah, too many too slices. Many slices. Oh, yes, that's a perfect pizza right here. This is just yes. Wonderful. So yes, this is this is my pizza. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm fired. Um, so you get to okay. do whatever you want with those. I'm going to eat these two. You're going to eat those? Yeah. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. You're going to have your pizza and eat it too. <laughs> ah! And I, I don't math, so I guess... Well, you don't math. I don't math. So. <laughs> Feel free to look at my pizzas and figure out whatever you want. Oh, you have the timer in your thing, so this is useless. I'm going to eat this too. Okay. <laughs> and the... One, two, three, three point five. Okay, yeah, so well, you I've, still beat me on I've that. I've got four nines and you've got... Yay, I'll eat this one too. <laughs> you're eating a lot of pizza. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Am I, I actually... gave myself the worst deal. <laughs> I, I know. I, saw, I was like, okay, maybe she may... But yeah, she did... a, it, I thought it was a trick. I'm like, wait a minute. She... <laughs> you know what it is? I can't count that fast. <laughs> uh, honestly, this is where being an accountant is, you know, know. clearly... <laughs> I'm an accountant, folks. If, 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 I, if I did actually really strategize, we'd you would be here all day. Would so, you? Yeah. Okay. So I, I just try to like hurry it up. <laughs> okay. So end game scoring. What we're gonna do is we're gonna call out each number and whoever has the most of each. We should have had Vinny slice. That would have been fun. <laughs> we would end up with pizza on the floor. I know. So threes are not in this game because of the two player rule. Yeah. Fours. Um, you've got the most fours. Oh, you have all the fours. So I'm going to circle the number four on your guest check there. Cool. And number five. I've got one, two. You've got three. So you score the number five. Mm -hmm. uh, sixes. I've got one, two, three. You've got 2.5. 2 .5. There's two over there and a half of there. So I would score the sixes. Mm -hmm. Uh, seven. Sevens. I've got four sevens, so that's clearly mm -hmm. my. Good job. Thank you. Eights. <laughs> I think we're taken out. Yep. Nines. I've got four nines, and you've got two point five. Two point five. So I got the nines, the tens. There's no tens in this game. Elevens. <laughs> I've got one, two, three. Yeah, I have. Nine. You have half. I have a half. I have a door. door All right. Door. So now the specials. The stuffed crust is worth five points at the end of the game, and then my tiebreaker wins all ties, so I don't have to worry. So five, I get five points for the specials, um, so that's grand total of that. The six plus seven is 13, plus nine is, uh, uh, 13 plus nine is 22, 22 plus 11 is 33, so I got 33 points for that. I could also have done 11 plus nine, which would be easier, 20 plus seven plus, yes. Okay, so then eaten minus collected. Did I collect any, did I... Did I keep any? Did I collect any anchovies? I did not. No. I did eat. These are the now. This is the stuff that I've eaten. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So I've eaten seventeen pepperoni or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you, you got nine points for the collection. Mm -hmm. Specials. What did you get under special? Collected anchovies are worth one point each, so that's three points. Plus four. Oh, four. And then each combo slice you collect is worth two slices of both types. Which, in this case, is two elevens. It's two elevens and two nines. Mm -hmm. And two fours and two sixes. Right, but that's for the comparison bonuses. So, did you actually have... Oh, really? Yeah. I thought they were... Oh, I thought they were just worth two points each. No, 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 no. Well, that is... Each combo slice you collect is worth two slices of both types. Let me take a look. Maybe we'll have to redo that set collection part then. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, that is, uh, what, super size combos? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, collected, yeah, or it's the same text. 
half a slice each. There were two. Okay, so basically, um, now you've got, you've won the fours already. You won the fours already. You don't have to worry about that. Sixes, you actually had one, two, three, four sixes. And I had one, two, three sixes. So oh. you should have won the sixes, not me. So I'm going to redo our totals up here. Sixes, and then what was your other combo? Uh, nine and eleven. All right, oh, I should have eaten my elevens then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. One, two. Well, this is a learning game. That's, yeah. that's understandable. Um, and then the nines, you. So that's you won the nine. Oh, I won the nine. So four, one, yeah. two, three, four. You had one, two. Three, four. Right. But I won the. I had the tie. Yeah, exactly. So I still won the nines. Still, yeah. So yeah, you might have changed. If you had collected those 11s, I wouldn't have eat that pepperoni if I knew that oh, as well. Right. We both missed it. So had we both caught it, I would have kept the 11s. And yeah. I probably still would have won that, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyway, well, so you got 4, 5, 6. So instead of the 33, I got uh, 27. I probably would have split it better. <laughs> That's okay. 10, 15. So you got 15 for the top. Okay. I got 27. Your specials, you got... Uh, collect, so you got four points for your anchovies. Mm -hmm. Um, and then Eaton, how much pepperoni did you eat? Uh, um, three, three, six, six nine, nine, ten, eleven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, oh, oh twelve, and 15, then thirteen, 14, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so you got fifteen points for that. So you got thirty-four points. I got uh, twenty-seven plus five, which is uh, thirty-two plus seventeen is forty-nine. So, I mean, I had, you had 15 on your set collecting. I had 27 on mine. That, that's what pushed me over. Wow. Nice. So that was, a, that was a close game. This is a look at the score pad after the fact. I had to scratch some stuff out because of that combo. But other than that, I mean, for our first game, mm -hmm. yeah, we probably made some mistakes, but mm -hmm. did you play this again? Did you yeah, like it? I did. I don't like the player just being the slicer. I want, I want like a referee being a the slicer. A referee being a slicer. It's too hard being the slicer yourself. If I may play devil's advocate... <laughs> I think having a player be the slicer and then him going last ensures that the pizza doesn't get cut up unevenly. Because if you think about it, as the per as the slicer, you're getting the last portion. Yeah. So you have to make sure that somehow everything is somewhat even so that you don't get stuck with the crappy stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I kind of like that strategy aspect to it, but mm -hmm. I can see what you're saying too as far as... Yeah, like someone who doesn't play, just like... Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Don't eat it. Well, you well, don't eat it. Yeah. I'm going to call Pizza Hut right now and go, can you come over to my house and just cut this up for us, please? <laughs> Have someone who works at a Chinese food restaurant. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right. Or, or serves Indian food. Right. Yes. Love They're you. fully qualified. <laughs> you want me to do what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible accent. <laughs> I apologize to every Indian out there. Awesome. Anyway. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. So, so besides the box insert, I'm going to take this box insert out. This does not at all organize the pizza slices very well. I guess it just doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know, it just... It doesn't and work. You cut them out from the pop-out thing, right? Right, I cut them out. So I would I would honestly just take this out and just leave. Um, just do this. <laughs> Put them in a baggie. <laughs> well, just, I'll just throw them in the box. That's fine. Just take all this out. And there we go. I would, just, I would just throw all the pizza slices in. There's no board. It's just a bunch of slices. So I would just do that and take the box insert out. That way you've got more room to move things around. That way the box fully closes. Mm -hmm. But besides the box insert and besides the confusion with when some of these are scored, like the tiebreaker is not bolted blue, so that sounds like it would be done that, that turn. However, t that tiebreaker majority stuff is done at the end of the game. So when is this actually done? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, but besides that insert, besides some of the rules groups, I, this is an excellent game. I really like it. Yeah, it's I fun. I like the set collecting and, and the majority collecting. Um, I like the what what stands out the most. I think is the production value. The, there is a lot of work done here. Like this looks like a menu. This <laughs> looks like a check, an actual check that you would be served at a restaurant. 
these, the back of these slices look like, you know, the bottom of an actual pizza. I love that today's special cards, they're so... Th like, those are awesome, like a chalkboard kind of thing, <laughs> yeah. So like, there's, there's, they're really cool. And there's a bunch that we didn't use. Mystery Slice, the Everyone Else Diet, Seconds, Buffet, Combo Cravings, Day Old Pizza, Sneak a Slice, and those aren't counting the ones that we took out because they were not to be used in a two-player game. You Love Veggies, Dibs, Cut in Line. So there's a number of them that we didn't use. So yeah, there's a lot of different ones in here that we didn't use. And I think all of this is really cool. Mushrooms, show them the mushrooms. The mushrooms, oh, I hate mushrooms. Oh, I love them, they're so Disgusting, good. absolutely not. I don't see chicken in here though. <laughs> Where's the chicken and bacon? Where's the bacon? Probably the meat lovers. That's, that might be the meat. I guess the nine would be the only one I would eat. Yeah. I, mine would be the, well, the 11. And take the yeah, I see. I'm not a fan. Pepperoni is a bit hot for me. I mean, I don't like any spice whatsoever on my pizza. I prefer plain Jane cheese mm -hmm. or add chicken and possibly bacon. Mm -hmm. That's my preferred. Uh, it's my preferred pizza, but whatever. I could get white out and take out the pepperonis. Oh heck, no! You will not <laughs> white out my pizza. It'd be like a pure cheese pizza. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> A white cheese pizza mm. would have been nice too, like an Alfredo, Alfredo pizza, something. That's what the nines look like. They, yeah, I guess they do. But you wouldn't put pepperoni in a white no. sauced pizza. I guess not. That's kind of weird. Like the one I get has garlic and onion and chicken on it. Mm. That's yeah. Anyway, so you get the idea, folks. Hopefully, this will help you determine whether or not you'd like to get this. It's pretty cheap too. It's not like a fifty-dollar game on Amazon. Um, I think I got this for about 25 something like that, 25 30 But the prices will vary because Amazon is Amazon and different people sell on Amazon. So um, if you can grab this for about 25 30 bucks, I'd say go for it. It's a very quick majority bonus kind of game or majority set collection kind of game. And it, it's quick, it's pretty fun, it's great to look at, and it's simple to learn too. Besides the issue with the some of these specials. But other than that, um, that was New York Slice. Um, thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Ida Lee. No! Special thanks to Ida Lee for helping me out with this one. <laughs> this is Vince and Ida Lee. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.